just you. But... You. Says. What? So reductive. You get it, right? In any case. Obviously. In any case.
nonetheless. No, no. What? Speaking of... That's why... Yes. on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Nonsense, you are. Talking nonsense, you are. Some things do not become fair. Oh, thank you. Dear. All right, then. <laughs> now, what am I to do? Hey! Ridiculous. Yes, I can. 
can. Don't you? Let us share.
What do you want? So foolish it arouses great pity. Do you want? What now? Say. <laughs> Say. But. All right then. Where to? Are you free? Hmm? Speaking of... words Redance. Apologies. Listen. <laughs> Listen. You have given me such strength. Truth is, Thank you. 
on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. I've seen the state of the race with my own eyes, ladies, gents, and mad malcontents. If you wanted an update, here's your chance. So far, we've mostly seen gauntlet runner skirmishes and dueling mayhem. Now it's time for the real thing. Sounds like we've lost a few candidates already too. Poor bastards went after something too nasty for their head hunt and got themselves head hunted. We've got some candidates who have outright given up. No confidence. Can't blame them against these odds. And some others have bought and sold out of the race. Come on! That's a bit unfair, isn't it? I suppose money's power like anything else. Military strength's not meant to decide this race anyhow. The question is, what's our final headcount going to look like? Lots of unknowns left, people, and we'll not know the truth until the exhibition. A little bird told me one of our contenders has made a bold play in Martira. They might not even come out of it with a head. What are they scheming then? Let's hear some details. Sorry, chums, I'm just the crier. Can't speak for any one candidate in particular. Luckily, you'll not have long to wait now. With all that said, can't help but wonder how Count Luis is taking this, can we? My sources say he's not bothered with any of this. He's still gallivanting across the land, killing humans. And yet, and yet, even without a formal entry, Luis's voter base is still growing. Bound to have his eminence, Forden, grinding his teeth back. For now, let's enjoy the show! Right, everyone. Farewell said. Particulars packed. All that remains is to ride to Oceana with pride in our hearts. Watch out, Luis. You won't know what hits you. Well, 
gentlemen. We're off to the races, what? Old Barden's given me a detailed map of the area. Sounds like quite a journey. I hope it won't be as bumpy as last time. Oh no, it'll be a sight smoother. But you've got wings. What are you fussing for? Oh, there it is. Should have known the fatigue would hit eventually. About time I got some sleep. Heist, mate. Why are you on my bed? You're positively miniature, man. There are plenty of other places fit for you to sleep. Hmm. Mm, yes. Splendid. Just magnificent. What is he dreaming about? I hope you've no designs on taking my bed. I have cut men down for less. With friends like these. Now then. Leaving behind the old castle town stricken by tragedy, the gauntlet runner sets off toward the exhibition of the brave. Their destination, Port Brylehaven, capital of the Principality of Oceana. A world unknown to them, what will they accomplish? A claim? Or... sets off for Martira. As they watch the setting sun sink under the horizon, their gauntlet runner arrives in a land grown thick with trees. The wildlife retreats to safety before the sunlight fades, leaving only deafening silence. The anticipation that follows a journey's beginning swells in their hearts. Oi! 
<laughs> hmm. Speaking of... Breeze feels nice. But all right, then go. Hey there. Yep. <sighs> Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. That reminds me. Speaking of. <laughs> The city ruins come to view. This place once flourished through the excavation of magla crystals by migrant workers. The work was hard, but the miners were hardy and spirited, and the promise of riches lured many here. In its time, it may have rivaled Brylehaven. However, the promise of strong magla drew forth the humans. As tragedies climbed, it became a ghost town. Now only the threatening glimmer of the crystals remain, and with the promise of abandoned riches follow the thieves. For some reason, though, they all seem to scurry home empty-handed, gripped by fear. You... This is...
That's why. Yeah. All right. Hey. So. Here. As the sun sinks below the horizon, the Gauntlet Runner arrives in a land dense with trees. The glow of the Gauntlet Runner pierces the dark, warmly enveloping them in its light. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Quiet! I see. the better of me last time, but you're about to get some payback. Give me a break, lady. 
Ever heard of learning from your mistakes? Sorry, but we don't intend to lose either. Oh, big talk. Well, I'm willing to rewrite my record if that's what it takes to be queen. My people are suffering as we speak. Who's going to save the parapus if I don't give it all I've got? I promised them all I'd become queen. You're all decent people, got nothing against you, but I'm not holding back. Looks like you've gotten stronger. So have we. Witness our strength. You can do this. Blaze! You have your weakness. Nice move, Taipei. Let's do this together. Look here. Burn! No. Why? Oh, why? I trained so much for this. This isn't supposed to happen. Double two. I admit. It feels I continue to grow. Oh, I don't expect no less. A new power to wield. I've lost! Hey! <laughs> Listen to me! Well then... <laughs> Why? It just ain't right. anyone die. <laughs> uh. 
As the shadows are stretched to their limits before darkness takes them, the gauntlet runner arrives in a balmy wetland. Nocturnal creatures who lay dormant beneath the fens in the light rise to seek out their prey. Meanwhile, the party rests their weary souls, fatigued by the long journey, under the protection of the gauntlet runner. on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Hello? Hello, Mr. Captain! Rise and shine, what? Almost there! Wildhaven. It's been a while. You've been before. My parents took me once when I was a boy. I remember the day we arrived, and waking up to the smell of the ocean. The place was crowded beyond belief. Everything was so different from our hometown in the countryside. I felt much the same when I reached the royal capital. Quite a sight compared to my little village with naught but fields and mountains. To be sure. And what? You cannot guess? Surely Montario in the east? Why, the Hulkenbergs are one of that nation's most prominent aristocratic houses, if not foremost among them. You don't say. Well, yes. Though I've no close relationship with my parents, I've hardly seen them since I left home. I see. Suppose we've all come a long way, haven't we? Seems we'll make it to the exhibition just in time. With a master at the helm, you were bound to, eh? <laughs> I really hope Joanna shows up. We resolved to trust her. So we simply watch and wait. Right. Everyone set and steady? Welcome, ladies and gents, to the Coastal Crown Jewel, Port Brylehaven. Port Brylehaven, capital of the Principality of Oceania the western annexed state of Ukronia. A vivacious city, Brylehaven is port of call to ships of both trade and war, bustling with hardy sailors. From the natural wonders caused by Magna to the Colosseum's contests of strength, people flock here to see the marvels of a city that never sleeps. The sea guides the gauntlet runner into the city alongside a warm, salty breeze. It's kind of 
kind of like the capital, but totally different. Yes. The city of water, Brian Haven. Sancta Cadeau. You've brought us quite a magnificent head. How do you think it'll stack up against your competitors? With the warrior monks at my side, there is nothing we cannot accomplish. But I won't presume to know the rankings. I humbly leave it in God's hands. Lineup's a bit conventional for my taste so far. Comes our mysterious little underdog now. Stir things up a bit here, will you? Ah, would you look at these spectacular gauntlet runners? They must all be worthy of kings. Looks like Luis is still the only one with a Skyrunner, though. No, no. I'm sure those blasted clergymen have some mechanism for it, too. The Sanctus Church funded the Skyrunners to begin with. If you can call that flying, of course. All just piffling about with levitation magic. Only a passing acquaintanceship to real aerodynamics. Birds have never needed magic to fly. Just the mechanical ingenuity of the feathered wing. That's the kind of breakthrough I'd like to make. You'll see, eh? One day, I'll make those wings reality and we'll soar like birds. I'm looking forward to it. Good. I'll have you run in the sky with me. Mark my words. If it isn't the pretentious little gallant and his cronies. If it isn't the walking headache. Well, well, well. No head to be seen. Weren't you talking big about chasing down that Heismay fiend? You're referring to me, yes? You're the man. This is a joke, is it? He's your great and terrible bounty. You know there's still time to drop out before you humiliate yourself in front of the masses. Say what you wish. He is one of us. It is not his head we are offering. Truly. You're allied with a wanted criminal. Are you all mad? Oh, your public humiliation will be quite a sight. Come, Hector. And that was? A candidate and one of Luis's henchmen. We don't exactly see eye to eye. Confounded. No damn parking space is left. Well, let's look for somewhere a bit less unpleasantly populated. Tomorrow is finally the exhibition to present all the heads. I really hope Joanna shows up. You needn't all sleep here tonight, you know? I can stay and wait for the cavalry. Got to give the old girl a tune-up anyway, don't I? Is much appreciated. In that case, we should look for an inn about the city. Ah, and we must sample the local delights. They far better seafood than in the capital. Hope it's nothing too weird. You've nothing to fear. Truly, I find most living things are edible. You need higher standards, lady. If you're sure, Nurus, then we'll leave it to you. Me. <gasps> I long for a proper bed. So be it. Let's find ourselves some lodging. Really? This is 
is a joy. All right, then. Oh, this blooming hate. <laughs> Can we talk? choice. <laughs> All right, then. Well, then, if you say your help... But what is there to do now? Uh, young man, Real cheap young today. Man. Bargain today. Maybe a pickle. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the goods are cheap. on sale right now. <laughs> Hmm. 
Welcome. Ah. All right, then. <laughs> really now? Hey! Stop! Hang on, what if... A sail going. That's fine. Ooh. Yeah, good. Indeed. Free to stop by any time. All right then. Mm. Huh? <laughs> See you right. Nice and easy. Okay, then. 
ridiculous. Leave it to me. Thank you. <sighs> ridiculous. All right, Ben. What do I do? <laughs> What now? I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Yeah. A new ability. Is it you require? Enjoy your stay. Kind of freaky. <laughs> Well, should have figured they'd be out of the upper rooms with all the travelers in town. Tis a far cry from the runner, at least. I am so glad to stretch my legs again. 
Did you see that giant bug just now? It was like the size of my head. It's gotta be poisonous. Oh, pull yourself together. It's just a b b b b b insect. Well, listen to you. You can't have lived in a giant sandworm den and been afraid of bugs, surely. Hence, the hut. That's why you lived in that hut? Uh, more importantly, we must discuss tomorrow's proceedings. Right. We meet up with Joanna, then get to the exhibition after that. Joanna will admit to the crime. The guilt of a Sanctuaris, especially of her status, will guilt Forden by association. That should make an impression on Louise. Yet for all this, we need Joanna herself. Do you truly think she will join us? We have to trust her. She chose to offer her own head instead of the monster's. If you ask me, she'd not have done that if she didn't believe it truly was her child. At least in part. I believe she expressed genuine parental love. I want to believe that, at least. What if she ends up not showing up? I mean, you're the one who got the worst of all of this in the first place. If it comes to that, you've still got my head for the days. Boulder Dash will not sacrifice an innocent life for our victory. But your offer speaks highly of yours. Right. We've done what we can do. All that's left is to keep our chins up and face the competition head on. Too early yet to retire for the night. We could drop by one of the local pubs. Listen for what perks our ears. And while we're at it, might as well sit down to a proper supper, eh? <laughs> could be my last, after all. Oh, ha ha, very funny. But I guess good info is important. Let's go check it out. without beauty. What do we care for promises and speeches from repulsive mouths? Beauty is everything, and it is time our country reflected that. Sounds like the candidates have started their speeches. Let's listen in for a bit. With all skills and talents equal, would you see the crown atop an ugly head or a handsome one? Beauty is power. Lack one, you should lack the other. When I take the throne, all the hideous will be stripped of their titles. Together, we shall build a nation ruled only by radiant, everlasting paragons of beauty. Well, he has a point about what people tend to follow. What? This really doesn't bother you. It isn't right. You'd rather wait for a king who was always right, then? Enough about appearance. A beautiful face cannot win wars. Without military power, the crown's voice means nothing! When I am king, I will establish a unified nation with the Roussant tribe at its head! Our tribes, our status, 
They mean something. You could stray from a monolith, but it will still remain. There can be no true peace without using the power we command. Hear, hear, for Rusa Pride! What pride is there in seizing power by force? Disgraceful. Corrupt upper classes will be wanted men. We'll have our guillotines sharpened and our wallets open. Those who thought to tilt the world with their heavy coppers will be ahead lighter. We'll split their fortunes and toast to our health. Preach it, Katharina. You're just what this land needs. <laughs> Wouldn't the first target be the one on the throne, then? Everyone's just shouting all their ideals out. These candidates are all pathetic. Nobody here even compares to Lord Luis. Luis isn't even in the running, lad. Poor Blight is afraid of losing to Sanctifex Ford. You've got it backwards, geezer. He's just not wasting his time on these windbags. I confess, I know not how to feel. This unprecedented. Never before have our citizens come together in the street in broad daylight and shared their true... Indeed. Is this really the kind of change His Majesty wanted? Maybe I'm overthinking it. Let's go in. If we hang around too long here, we're bound to get dragged into a nasty argument. When I'm king, pleasures will rule the city. A bar on every block and a flagon in every hand. All you can drink, all year round. Woo! Next round's on, Lovelace. Let fools be content with their fool dreams. Grant me the crown, and I will make our kingdom powerful beyond imagining. Most powerful? Don't really mean anything, does it? Aren't you another one of Luis's flunkies, hound? Stop barking and get back to your master. Always about that goddamn Luis. I've been in the guard just as long as he has, you swine. Quite a lively crowd. Looks like a great many of them came all the way here to watch the competition. Valabe? He's an elder, isn't he? Are you a candidate too? Well, strike me down, you're right. Never seen one of you blokes before. Might be out of luck in the race, though. You'll not stand a chance. <laughs> Pay him no mind. A drunk's words weigh nothing. Wow. There are fish swimming in front of the store. Ah, I've heard of this. It is on the customer to fish up a catch, and the chefs will prepare it for eating. I admit, I'm curious. Shall I sing a shanty for you as you take up rod and reel, Captain? It doesn't look quite... Uh... By all means, let us try it. Did she even look at it? <sighs> Why, tis... Tis delicious! The aroma of the sea. 
sea simply floods the mouth. Ah, and what splendid... I guess I'll try a bite. I mean, they wouldn't let us fish up anything outright inedible. I hope. At least we'll die together. Oh, well, I was the one who suggested fishing. Right. Oh, it's rather... I said nothing since Hulkenberg seemed to enjoy it so much, but... If you're going to eat an unknown fish, might you not at least sear it first? It is fine enough without, I say. You need way higher standards, lady. Excuse me, friends. Don't mean to interrupt your meal. I'm Batlin, a church crier for the tournament. Maybe you remember me. Sounds like you made a hell of a splash in Martyra, huh? Felling a vicious beast is one thing, but not many candidates took it figuratively. How did you hear about all this? It's a crier's business to hear things. So, do you have a head ready? Well, let's see. Got a head right here, I suppose. Lips sealed, huh? Well, I'm certainly looking forward to the exhibition then. Especially considering the diversity of your little part. I've always preferred to chase an interesting lead over a sure bet. Can't help it, I'm afraid. So, I'll have a keen eye out for you, all right? That cry is an odd one. Not really what you'd expect from a Sanctus promoter. Who is he? Rumor has it that young candidate hasn't brought a head. Wonder what he's playing at. Whatever it is, he's about to get a sharp lesson in the ways of the world, poor lad. I think he's worth keeping an eye on. Keep it under your hats, chums, but his power may rival Count Luis. I think he's just the ingredient we need to uh, spice this race up a bit. Right. Just got back from the pub, did you? You wound me! <laughs> Uh, nobody trusts a radical, huh? I expect you'll see for yourself. Hmm. Hmm. on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. The man sloshed, again. What happened to waiting for our guests? You utter buffoon! Is this why you volunteered to stay behind? <laughs> Seems like Joanna and Barden aren't here yet. Oh, I feared this might happen. And we've no other head to offer the judges. Tis a precarious position. Let's all stay calm, all right? Bah! I'm going to splash some water on my face. Ah! 
What? My sincerest apologies. I wasn't expecting anyone to come in. You see... How did you come to be here? Explain yourself! Is something the matter, Barden? They were here the whole time? I'm so terribly sorry. We heard the Gauntlet Runner had a washroom, so we thought we'd freshen up a bit. I bathed first and was resting in the back room, contemplating my final day as a sanctuary. Sir Nurus over there very decently let us in to wash up. I couldn't stand it, old thing. Her heart would bring any right-thinking man to tears. Could have run like a ballet thief in the night, but here she is, washing away her sins. It was more than a chap could bear, I say. Needed a drop of the grape and grain just to get myself through it. The bottle's barely any emptier. Was a drop really all it took to get you drunk? Oh, please do not blame the poor man. Talking to him has eased my heart for the trials to come. I cannot let myself betray you and regress to my vile delusions. I only sought to atone with myself before my sins are duly punished. I understand. Thank you for coming. Then, as we agreed, please confess before the crowd when the time comes. To be honest, I'm hesitant to turn you in now you've genuinely decided to repent. I mean, we're hardly icons of virtue ourselves. In fairness, you're a woman of status and it'll be a big crowd. We're not looking to instigate a public stoning here. You can explain yourself freely in your own words. We can't ask anything more than that. Thank you. Truly, I've felt so much more at peace since last we spoke. The fog has only cleared further, giving me clarity of purpose. The fog, huh? Thank you for everything. I do hope you win the throne. Yes, I intend to. Whoever the crown goes to, we're at least going to make sure it isn't used for evil. At last, it seems our preparations are set. We need only trust that our plans will bear fruit. Thank you all for waiting. The very first round of the Tournament for the Throne, the Exhibition of the Brave, is about to begin! Our monarchs-to-be will now present to the people the heads they seized to demonstrate their power as worthy of the throne! At a later date, when the second round is announced, the faces on the King's Rock, that is to say, the candidates with the top 20 approval ratings, will pass the first round. 20? Tis a great many eliminations in but one round. I was hoping we'd at least make it through the first, but it might not be that simple. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your eyes to the lineup of all the gorgeous faces at the judges' table, starting with His and Her Highnesses of Oceana and Montario. Oh, it's her ladyship. Lord Montario's here too, eh? And the armor on that fellow over there? A general, is he? And of course, we have the one. The only, the people's favorite, our guest from the Sanctus Church. Better known as the Miracle Saint, healer of all ills, presenting the lovely Lady Rella Cygnus. Saint? Who's this? Someone fill me in. I've been literally living in a hole. 
a brilliant healer. We've met, though a long time ago. Even as a student, she was already considered the kingdom's best in her field. Looks like the crowd's on your side, milady. Can you give us a few words about what's on your mind as you take on the judge's mantle? Uh, well, I'm afraid you've rather got me on the spot. <laughs> Hello, all. This city sure has, um, great seafood. <laughs> and, uh, well, sea creatures. Fascinating, aren't they? There's so much we still don't know about them. Um, Oh, I did hear about a legend of some monster in the eastern seas of Oceana. Imagine, the mind races! I'm hoping I can investigate those sightings while I'm here. That's just great, Lady Rella. I'll just stop you there, clock's ticking and all that. But we're thrilled you're enjoying your stay. Sometimes I can hardly believe you're my sister. Still not much of a public speaker, are you? So she's... a saint? Well, she seems like a nice enough lady. We'd better stop worrying about her and focus on ourselves. I don't see Luis anywhere, but I bet he's got eyes in the crowd. Now, the time has come! Let the exhibition of the brave begin! First up is a respected gentleman of the church, Guido, the head of the monk soldiers of the Crown Theocracy. I've no taste for needless killing. Therefore, I chose a mark with meat, abundant and edible. After the judging, it will be served in a banquet for the poor. A stand-up fellow, my good people! Strength and compassion in one package! He's got the crowd on his side right from the start! Is there anyone who can talk this? I can. And we have a challenger. Second in line is the church's direct opposition, the spearhead of Count Luis's supporters, Gladell the Black Hound. One look at the head and I know what you're thinking. Bit small, isn't it? Well, I can bloody well tell you I'm not like this smarmy git who fished up his dinner. I'll tell you what this is. Behold, the head of a hideous human! Where's your proof? Y yes, the young son's right. How do we know that's really a human? What drivel? Look at the thing. You think a normal beast could have a face like this? Probably just made the damn thing yourself. Oh, useless as ever. Did it never occur to him that the average citizen has never seen a human? Now, now, everyone, let's have a little composure, please. Can now, on to the next. Is that the monster of the Eastern Sea? Someone took the beastie down. Who did the deed? I'd heard tell of a monster tormenting the people of this beautiful port city. I could do no less than grant them respite from their suffering. Such is the duty of those with power. Who expected anything less? His Eminence Gordon is simply in another class. Suddenly, the critics have all gone quiet. 
All I hear is gratitude. Gordon's trophy is more impressive than I expected. How are we going to make a stronger impression than that? It'll be fine. If he'd gone after us, the reaction would mean we'd have been written off no matter what we presented. Let's count ourselves lucky and trust in our strategy. Now, now, no dirty looks, you lot. Next is the Pagan Assassin's Prize. Let's see what head we've got now. Thank you, Candidate Julian, for that helpful, exhaustive, and I think exhausting, explanation. Oof. Now, we've had quite a succession up here, but our last is coming up now. This should wrap up our show. Now, if the last candidate, the Elden Boy, would please join us on the stage. Where's their head? Uh, your pardon, madam, but would you happen to be the Lady of Martyra? Joanna, the Sanctoress? Indeed. The head they've brought is mine. The impudence. You dare offer an honored lady of the church before these judges. This is not to be borne. I've got something to say to you too. That you chief there. Isn't that Heisme? The same damn criminal you were supposed to be chasing? That's the infamous Heisme. The huge chief of all things. <sighs> this. After we saved your hide on the road. Silence! He may be a former knight, but now he's a heinous criminal who stooped to kidnapping. Anyone who claims themselves his ally should be disqualified on the spot. Please, wait. I have something I must confess to you all. You speak of the kidnappings that terrorize my home, Martyra. I am here to confess that the true culprit behind those atrocities was me. I was the caretaker of a hideous human in the basement of my castle. And to feed it, I abducted the innocent people of my own city. What? Absurd. Speak sense, woman. Master Heisme is innocent in all this. He was framed for crimes performed by my hand and in my name. And I, Bard, captain of Martyr's Guard Corps, stand to vouch for all that she said. Just so. It was this young candidate who killed that human, cleared me of the false charges, and dispelled the shadow over Martyra. Thus, here I stand. My head is his to offer. That's... Well, that's quite a turn of events! We have our head, ladies and gentlemen, and it's unlike any we've seen yet! How is this believable? She's an imposter. She's got to be. Of course. That, or they're putting words in the poor woman's mouth. A sanctuary would never. What will his eminence fall and do? <sighs> the Honorable Master Godot should know whether I and my words can be trusted. is true to the last word, isn't it? Yes, Your Eminence. Without question. Young candidate, you have done well to bring about her repentance. 
Now, justice must be rendered. What? Right here and now? Your Eminence, a moment! Thank you for your concern. But I have no objections. For a sinner like me, to confess the truth to the people has already been more than I deserve. Oh, new king. It is my hope that you will rid the world of its twisted prejudices and common cruelties. Please, leave this country armed with the truth. I will. I promise. Forden turned in the biggest head, then our dark horse here has certainly turned in the heaviest. What an upset, ladies and gents! Who could see this coming? <laughs> Those crazy kids have done it again. What a show! and just departed, wishing everyone well. I suppose he aims to reach Martira before Joanna's confession does. And Forden himself. I hardly expected the man to make himself so visible. Likely his attempt at redirection keeps the blame from falling on him and the church. Can't say it didn't work, I suppose. I'm certainly not blameless in this either. It was my suggestion to make an impression by foregoing the pursuit of a monster's head in favor of a person's. I guess, but... Nevertheless, the Lady Joanna entrusted her final wishes to us, and we mustn't betray them. That's all we can do, really. Not bad, Pops. You are passing on the course of a human hunt. You gave a most distinctive showing. I suppose you're worth introducing ourselves to. I'm Fidelio, that's Basilio. Luis's right-hand men, see? And now you walk with a Ujif at your side. Each ally of a different tribe. Fascinating. Better to have dependable friends than familiar ones. Something we've got in common. Mm. Not only did you expose a failing of the Sanctus Church, but you dared to bring her alive so Forden himself could do the grisly part before all his flock. That... was not our intent. Oh, same idea, yeah? A real person's head gets more eyes on you than some decapitated beast. And now, you're the names on everyone's lips, aren't you? Right. It worked for us. Well said. It's quite a feat for a no-name candidate to so deftly rub Forden's face in the dirt. A wake-up call, I'm sure. For those who only know his honeyed words. Lord Luis, we really should be going. Relax. They're in the middle of a conversation. I like a show of strength as much as the next girl, but I do so hate violent spectacles. A view from the sky sounds so much more enchanting, don't you think? So this is what's become of Luis. 
There was something eerie to him even as a lad, but I'd never expected him to reach such heights. Do you suppose we have his attention? Last time he told us we had to demonstrate our power first. I'd like to think that if he went out of his way to talk to us, that's something we earned. Oh, loves. I've got a message from Count Luis. He says he'll be sending a messenger along soon. So stay in the city, would you? And I have to say, I might not want to let you out of my sight either. Master Luis? Master Luis was just here. What happened? Well, he just left. You weren't told? We'd better be getting back as well. Damn it! What's so special about those fools? Luis is having a go for Popeye. Are you officially all flunkies in arms now, then? It's not a done deal. Still, it is a significant step forward. We've crossed a dangerous bridge, and the risk paid off. We have finally taken the first step in saving His Highness the Prince. If we can get the formula, then we yet have a chance of lifting the curse. How first, His Highness, anyway? He still fights? I took a look in the Farsight mirror a while ago. He's still asleep. But nothing's changed about his condition. And do we know where this formula is? No. But he's bound to keep it somewhere secret if it's evidence linking him to the assassination. Still, a formula would be useless unless it's within arm's reach for emergencies. If it's something he'd keep close, then... Wouldn't that be inside his gauntlet runner? It's as good a chance as any. Getting inside would be a pain for anyone else, including us. He said he would send a messenger. Perhaps it would be wise to wait until we've heard his missive. Good point. Let's just wait for word then. Johanna, a backwater sanctuary denies me my moment of triumph. She defiles the very church itself. Oh, and naturally it was an elder of all people who stood her before me. Well, that benighted tribe never stopped dogging my heels. An idea occurs, Your Eminence. For the tournament's next challenge, let us center the competition on a show of piety. Make them prove their Sanctus faith. After all, Sanctism is the state religion. It would be the barest of leaps to suggest that loyalty to the Church is loyalty to the state. I assume you have a plan. Altaberry's our next destination. The very seat of the faith outside the cavern. I thought we might propose another hunt. This time for relics. Ah, the so-called divine relics. Those false idols the pagans consider relics of their gods. What need does the world have for gods beyond ours? Soon. They will talk of nothing but how to win the Sanctus Church's favor. Your Eminence's influence would be sure to reach even greater heights. A 
And in the pagan lands, the greedier candidates will plunder and pillage for idols as they see fit. Hmm, find footholds for our missionaries, all without getting our hands dirty. The collection of divine relics should be a spectacle held on Saint's Day. Our divine right will be undeniable. Once I take the throne, I will re-establish that these relics originally belonged to the Sanctus Church, and that they were ransacked from us in the course of history. Your Eminence, on that day, I should be grateful to be honored with a proper title. <laughs> Say no more. A concession only fair for the right hand of the Sanctifix. Ever at your service. You do not bow your head. Oh, I... Humblest apologies. What troubles you, my child? Well... My concern would be about the risks involved. Some theories suggest even the Royal Scepter was originally one of these relics. In the unlikely event that a divine relic were to be found to nullify the King's magic... If such a relic existed, it would have been found long ago. You burden yourself with such fears. All you need to do is be a good saint. Smile, wave, and bless. Rella, you are to return to the royal capital and gather the people under my banner. Understood. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Uh, hello? Uh, a word? Uh, some odd blighter left a letter for you last night, said he was Luis's man. Night Prowler, today, come. Bit good, if I'm honest, hardly diplomatic. Seems like this Night Prowler place is some sort of pub or club, but uh, do you know where it is? On the city's outskirts. Seemed fairly dingy to my eyes. I can't imagine Luis at a haunt like that. You think it's a trap? Maybe he's caught on to us? If he wanted to trap us, I doubt he would make it so obvious. Though that doesn't guarantee our safety there, of course. We have little other option but to show up. I'll hang about in the runner. Keep myself busy with tinkering. Let me know if you talk yourself onto Luis's craft, eh? Right then. Let's be off to this night prowler. <laughs> Let's hurry. All right, then. Well met, eh? Wonderful. He's pretty Oi! Oi! All right, then. Now.
look who it is. Appreciate you coming out. So it was you two. You expected us to roll out the red carpet right into our headquarters. Consider this a pre-show. Still, you really are just a kid, aren't you? And you're one to talk? I wouldn't go having a laugh at me big brother's expense. That's when I get to step in. Make some points for me own life. You are brothers. And he is the elder? And here I thought the Magnus brother's name was making the rounds. Shame that. It's fine. First offence and all won't kill you yet. Besides, Lord Luis has taken quite a shine to you lot. Before we let you see him, I have a question. I want you to think long and hard before you answer, right? What kind of king are you selling yourself to be exactly? Go on, let's have the pitch. I treat all tribes equally. Just like Lord Luis. All right, a bit much, he's off. You know there's a big difference between meritocracy and equality. <laughs> You're not doing yourself any favors here, are you? Let's drop the pretenses, shall we? We were all about impressing Luis, and we've done that. You're all about results, aren't you? You'll answer the question from me, too. Why do you want to serve Master Luis? No lies now. I'm actually in love with Lady Juna. No, oh, well, my condolences. Out of your league, chum. I dare say you both speak from the sting of experience. And you speak like a man with a death wish? <laughs> Whatever. You got some brass tea, I'll give you that much. Already got more accomplished than that Glodell ever did. You seem like the types to make yourselves useful. Not many get Ardell's blessing. It's worth celebrating that. For now, get in. Someone like you should already know what it's like. The minority tribes face walls and barriers everywhere they look in society. Our greatest hope rides with Master Luis. We'll do whatever it takes to make him king, and starting today, so will you. <sighs> Come on then. Master Luis is waiting for you inside his gauntlet runner, the Caradrius. And no funny business up there, yeah? Nothing gets past the King's magic, and Lord Luis is one of the top candidates. We've captured some, what, ten odd assassins now? Lord Luis uses them for magic experiments, and, well, you know how that ends. <laughs> Finally have access to Luis's headquarters. It's a valuable opportunity. Ideally, while most of our group is meeting with Luis, someone else can do a quick search inside. Wait, me? There's no one more suitable. Anyone else, and he'd question their absence. You're putting a solo infiltration on my tiny shoulders? But fine, I'll do it. Once we're in the Skyrunner, we'll assess the situation, then deal with our own tasks. Where?
Hello there. Steady effort is key. I see. Fascinating. I'm counting. Retained my edge. Got it. I'm leaving. Evidently. Seriously. 
here. Beautiful city, Rylehaven. But it is its identity I truly respect. Oceana's navy might well have won them the Annex War, if your Cronia hadn't chosen to forgo their honor and launch an opportunist attack in the wake of a storm. Even now, united in the kingdom, their pride in their power is what keeps this city alive. You wish to join my ranks. I need ask little else. Instead, I would hear what you wish to know most. Ask and I will answer. That is why I have bid you come. Here we go. Juna and item? Hmm. All this way, and that is what you ask for me. You watch your damn mouth with Count Luis. She stood before me, my guard's spear points at her throat, and declared that if I did not care for her voice, I was free to kill her. And so she sang. That she would be so reckless. Surely you've heard her yourselves. Her voice is remarkable, yes, but it is her boldness that intrigues me. Needless to say, she stands at my side. <laughs> hmm. It is clear no small conviction drives you. Perhaps keeping you close will prove useful. You! Assembled company, I hereby permit you to enter my service. We are much obliged. This is a heart of magic silver. Cut your finger and let the blood fall. A proper right of loyalty. Shows how all our blood flows through the same heart. Watch yourselves, though. If your own heart's not true to our cause, well, it's not just a drop you lose. Might take off a whole limb. You hesitate. <clears throat> Fear and anxiety. They always lead the people astray. But power and order trumps all. That is the crux of my will. Good. It would appear we've passed. Ha! <laughs> Look at you, like knock knee lambs. Just having a bit of fun with you, eh? You think I'd go to all that effort? On August 13th, I intend to hold a soiree in this city. It seems a fine opportunity for you to make your debut in my retinue. Very exclusive, see? Only for those good enough to be part of our campaign. You should feel honored. As my gauntlet runner requires some maintenance, the party should be held at the feast hall where I'm staying. In the meantime, do as you will. Oh 
only this area feels any different from the rest. I need a key to get in, though. It'd be nice if I could see what's going on in here, too. Is that boy candidate here already? Meeting with Count Luis as we speak, I think. Didn't think he'd end up on our side. I expect we'll run into each other on the job, eh? That said, let's get back to our rounds. Yikes! They're coming this way! Now you have to hide! side of that door? Never thought it'd lead to a place like this. This area just screams suspicious with all the guards. The formula's gotta be somewhere around here. Is someone coming? Figures they'd show up now. Isn't that the songstress? What is she doing here? Lady Juna, is something amiss? I do recall saying I didn't need a personal guard today. Yes, but this is Luis's personal quarters, and we thought in case you needed... Well, I don't. You can do your guarding downstairs for today. Do you understand? I mean... Do you really want to be guarding this door when Count Luis returns? Oh, the things you would hear. How awkward for us both. Um, you mean... Idiot, don't make the lady repeat herself. Uh, apologies, my lady. We'll make ourselves scarce. Opportunities like this are so few and far between. I've got to get this back in place. Oh, wonderful. How were these arranged again? A magic spell? Is that the formula? <sighs> Just my luck. I can't carry out something that big. And now I know where it is. Jolly good! <laughs> you've got the man's eyes on you. Now that you've sworn fealty, we can get right down in the guts of his Skyrunner. I worry for Gallica. Perhaps we ask too much of her. I hope she's all right. Ah, it seems you're worried for naught. I'm back! Phew, you're clearly bursting with good news, too. <laughs> I know, right? I found where the formula is! I'm pretty sure I saw the real thing. Even if it wasn't, I'd bet the real one's somewhere in that room. Masterfully done! We could have asked no better an infiltrator. That songstress Juno was there too. I'm pretty sure it was Luis's private quarters, so I have to wonder what she was doing there. Whatever the case, I assume you could lead the way to the room? Well, yes, but it might be a bit tricky. 
To get to Luis's quarters, we'd need to go through the crew quarters, then through the starboard corridor, or the port corridor. You need a key to get into each of the divisions. Whoever's in charge at each guard post has one. Luis's private quarters have a special key, too. That one's held by the representative on the bridge. In short, we'll need to pass through three blocks. The crew quarters, either the starboard or port corridor, and the bridge. It looked like he's usually got his quarters under guard. So we'll want to pick a time of day when there'll be less people around. If we need it less crowded, then how about the night of the soiree? Surely it would be a skeleton crew. He would have us debut as his supporters on that night. How would we get away with not being present? Maybe if we just excuse ourselves for a short time? We've got plenty of time to prepare. Securing an infiltration route, finding out when it will be less crowded. This is all work we can get done in advance. On the night of, Gallica and one other will slip out, swipe the formula, then return by the shortest route possible. Have anyone in mind? My hearing makes stealth jobs simple work. No, I think he'd be our best bet. You would have the guest of honor himself absent? This is Luis we're talking about. He's bound to notice any absence. If we've lost on that front already, we might as well send our strongest. What do you think? It would be risky as a near solo infiltration. Are you up to the task? just have to make it work. You truly mean that? Seriously. We're jumping from tightrope to tightrope here. We'll have to prep our infiltration strategy tomorrow. For now, let's get back to the inn and get some rest. That reminds me. Yes. I see. Mm. Look at that. Good night. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. No, man. Hmm. Even so. Yes. I'm a little worried. Yeah.
Business is done. Hmm. And I do appreciate your assistance. Just...
Whatever burdens you carry, I'll carry them too. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Now then. Tolerance. That reminds me. Right. I'm just hey, born in a ridiculous. Fancy a bit of info? Ah. Just between us. a bit of info. to hear that. <laughs> Let me perform for you. <laughs> I'm just... Hey, listen. Incredulous. All right, then.
If you can help. Let's give it a shot. To such a bother. Hey, you. What is it? Well then.
what I've got. <laughs> Show me what you've got. Everyone! At this time! Hear ye! Hear ye! You get it, right? Hang on. <laughs> In those days,
I... Did you? Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Luises. Let's make it happen. Drew? coming down. That means... My thanks. My apologies. Shouldn't. Got it. My thanks. The truth is...
Hmm? What happened? No. My son... Everything okay? Yes. My apologies. in your debt. He... Now... A new power. I must come to a decision. Homeward, then. <laughs> what now? I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. Retained my edge. All right. I'm just hey, ridiculous. It's your call. Oh, I smell trouble. Oh, let's... Just between us. Uh... Hey, listen! I'm just... incredulous. What do you want to do? Wonderful. All right, then. <laughs> All right, then.
Go. Hey. <laughs> business do you have with me? Choose me! Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Somehow, that reminds me. Did you know? Truthers. Hey. 
for myself. Don't worry your head. I'll do anything. <laughs> Yes. You are. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. That means. Yeah. What now? Oh. 
All right. Let's give it a shot. All right, then. Where to? Let's go! What is it? Hey! That's how it's going to be, is it? Let's head there right away. Everyone is here. Now then. Here. Nice little village. Hmm. But wait, I... Looks charming. I think we have a favor to do there. It's your call. Let's be off. to pick.
Yes. But... That's why. Huh? I... The truth is... So then... of Inundo, a small settlement located north of Brylehaven, lies ahead. 
the industry that once thrived here fell into decline. And now the able-bodied youth dream instead of leaving home. A small population of mostly children and elders remain, and visitors are scarce. The gauntlet runner slows to a stop. Just a moment. Hey. That reminds me. Now then. Ah, I see. We could. It's your. Hmm. That's where you want to. Tis something there. Yes. Just a moment. There's a runner. There is much to see. And right there's a labyrinth. Right. Okay then. <laughs> I'm just in Hey, listen. All right then. Let's go. Yeah? Oh, this is blue. Oh, God. <laughs> Proper aces. <laughs> Just can't stand it. Now what am I to do? Listen all! I see. Hmm? Listen all to your next king!
Here's what I would do. How dare you! Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Speaking of... Should we do? Ah, uh, I think we have a favor to do that. Hmm, fascinating. It's your call. Which way should we go? Let's check. 
Hey! Even so... Got it? Got it. of Inundo, a small settlement located north the end of a small... Giving it some thought? As the sky turns the same muddy color as the land below, the gauntlet runner arrives in a quiet land. However, confidence would be ill-advised. Listen carefully for footfalls in the mud and move at the break of dawn. Indeed. <laughs> if so, Well, 
Yes. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What to pick? Sorry. could stop for a break. The Gauntlet Runner arrives at a spectacular waterfall northwest of Brylehaven. The Peregrine Falls, the water cascading down from the river between the canyons, 
is among the kingdom's finest vistas, thanks in part to the monuments carved into rocky cliffs. Is the rumbling echo simply the water plummeting into the basin below, or the roar of the Mage King? Their destination is the Tomb of Lament, found north of Oceana. Interred beneath the earth here lie the victims of a terrible epidemic. It is said the lamentations of the lost echo throughout, disfiguring the somber burial ground into a mass grave for criminals and the kinless. The vindictive spirits conjure restless monsters, and it is here that the Gauntlet Runner comes to an uneasy halt. Getting in some thought? Now then. That... Hmm. Well... My thanks. Take it. You can always toss it later. Get sloppy, Captain. With the... ah! Ah! 
to wield. My power swells forth. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> On your guard. <laughs> That's all of them. We're safe for the time being. <laughs> that worked out. Keep it up. What is it? Be our chance. No, no. Can to battle. Oh, power of kings. Even that was not enough. Show you can. Nice. That's what nice. it. Now, I call upon royal power within. Oh, not too shabby. Let's keep this up, everyone. A halfway decent result. I'll strive for greater heights. I've acquired a new power. I think that's all of them. So myself. I admit, it I shall strive. Even I have more to learn. I think that's all of them. <laughs> Uh. 
All right, that's lovely. That. Wait. Abilities feel stronger. Come on! You hit him right in the weak spot. Good job. Something like this must have its use. Not half bad.
Secure, we should be safe. And that would be of use. Ground. 
Let us withdraw. Careful. I won't hold back! And that's that! Victory's out! That'll do. Good. I'm still getting stronger. Right. I could get used to this. To greater heights. Steady effort is key. Remain steadfast. <laughs> <laughs> Act fast! Some will win this! Face me! Freeze! Even that was not enough! Free! What? Fusion! Get a hit! What a finale! Keep your energy up, everyone! To ever greater heights! Strive for greater heights! Ah! I didn't know it! And it's at the end then! Run them through! For all the great 
Say so myself. Nice. I feel strong. I shall strive to use this power wisely. <sighs> yes. Now then. In that case. True. on and the age of a new king draws nearer.
do? Now then. Just a moment. I think we have a favor to do there. Hmm. It's your call. Great. Let's move out. What to pick? All right, then. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Gauntlet Runner arrives at the Gracia Forest, temperate and fertile. It was once a place of repose, where the songs of fairies echoed throughout. But as the furnace of commerce demanded its wood, the fairies began to vanish, and having lost its divine protection, monsters made their dens. Fear of what lurks among the trees drove mankind back, and the forest fell into sinister silence. The departed fairies would weep to see it now.
We have yet to defeat them all. On guard! <laughs> oh, right! We did it! Oh. I didn't know I had it in me. Damn it. 
kings. Nothing personal. Sorry. Why, hello there. They won't hold back. Lightning. Fusionist. Piss. Hit a weak point. Keep it up. Oh, power of heroes. Burst forth. Now accept your fate. Right. Mandible bearing. Is on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Hmm. What do you want to do? Now then. Hmm? Certainly. Keep your wits about you. It's your call. Which way should we go? Let's be off. Quick! Go 
I tell you, you've got an absolutely brilliant runner there. I, I haven't stopped thinking about it since the opening ceremonies. And that's some ace detailing on the hull. Oh, and the speed's top class too. Uh, if you just want to look at the runner, could you stop hopping all over the place? Oh no, I I've got a bit ahead of myself. I was actually hoping I'd get you to step down first. That is, step down from the runner and step down from the tournament. I'm awful sorry, but I've got to be queen no matter what it takes. Once I'm in charge, I'll commission runners for everyone in the kingdom. And Caden Workshop won't have to worry about turning a profit ever again. Now's the time. As what's the play? You enter the ring. Some dark arts. Let's go. Lightning to these actions, but... Pugilists, run them through. They die hard. Let justice prevail. I can't afford to lose. Not now. Faker! Can you withstand this? <laughs> Face me! Hi there, Miguel. I heard the whole story. Your cadence, little girl, eh? Your cadence workshop. Sniffing work done there. Fine pass. Very fine. If you're short on funding, I'll sell out the cheddar. But I'd be much obliged if you dropped out of the damn race, eh? What? Really? You, uh, you know about our workshop? Right, then I quit the tournament. Sorry about all this mess. Oh, nice kid. Satisfactory. I have retained my edge. The gauntlet runner's slowing pace signals their arrival at an encampment to those below deck. They are grateful for these moments of repose, quietly acknowledging their good fortune, a rare glimpse into a party at peace. Appreciated. See you. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. What to pick? 
All right, then. Been looking forward to our next fight. What? You want another round? Well, you're only gonna get the same answer from us. We're not losing to anyone. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I know we're both serious about this. That's why I trained hard. I mean, really hard to get myself ready. I swear I'll win and then make all of you my allies. Way we can pave the way to a brighter future together. Step up then. Is your side ready? My cue, I think. This is it. Let's hit her hard. I'll use what I must. Fight as power. Fighting. <laughs> I shall fight to pugilist. This better hit. You gotta aim better than that. It's okay. I can keep going. I can't. This is a joke. Faker. Burst kill. Assassin. Right. Apologies. Would you finish it? Maybe lend me your grip. You won't hold back. Nothing. Are you prepared? You'll be dust. Every 
secret. I'll rather think. If you want my opinion, like I said, what in the seven hills? Leave it to me. Mm. <laughs> I think this is how I'm going to fulfill my dream. Hmm. Bye now. The party descends upon the Forsaken Tower. Is the decision to pursue such a beast one of bravery or something else altogether? The gauntlet runner stops in front of the imposing structure, its glare already making itself known. Will they be the ones who discover its truth? No, then. Certainly. Got it? True. Here we go. What now? <sighs> you can trust in me. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. A new means of protection. I see. Fascinating. This right here. All right. I'm counting on you. Of course. I 
Messi. I've acquired a new power. something. Coursing through me. The first thing is out. Now we strike. Show them our might. This is it. Let me won't hold back. Fire. Fusion. Take that. Even easier to expect it. Huh? I have never known you need protection. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> ah. I fight for my own. They surely underestimate you. If I say so myself, I shall rise to the occasion. Greater heights. All right. Well, well. We've been spotted. On your guard. Let us set There's no mind. time for prayers. They're weak to electricity. Now Give them accept a your fate. Come forth, royal soul. What a finale! Keep your energy up, everyone. Satisfactory. Don't let your guard down. All right. Amazing. Nice! Alright, how's that? I can feel greater power within. We've been spotted! Blades at the ready! Nice! Incredible! Go 
are prepared. Hang on! No holding back! Is that comrades? Let me your strength! Shut up! Worthy foe after all! Apologies! I Would you finish it?
Now then. Say, um... So? Let's call it. Let's make it happen. Now then. <sighs> Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Let's head there right away. Hey! <laughs> See there. <laughs> this is a joy! Right. Well, 
well then. We did it. Indeed. Let's go.
Mission accomplished. Thank you. Oh, come on. You've come. Thank you. My apologies. Don't you worry. Yeah. Thank you. And then... He now a new power. I shall lay down my very life for the town. Now. 
that is... Right, I could get used to this. A new ability. I shall rule the battlefield! Dashed interesting. To the joys of your company, eh? This one's important. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer.
Worry not. I see. Wow. 
Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you know? Interesting. Interesting. Greetings. Ridiculous. Hmm? My, my. 
Yes. Listen. What? Hey! No. Yeah. Leave it to me. Thank you, truly. Mother. Uh. Time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. What should we do? 